What's going on kids? Pastor Jacob here with another Life Group video. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. This week, we're back to exploring the book of Judges. Remember, Judges is in the Old Testament and it comes after the book of Joshua and before the book of Ruth. We're gonna be in Judges chapter six today. So take a minute and find Judges chapter six. Don't you like this plant I've been growing? I've been working really hard to make this plant grow so strong and so beautiful. I can't believe she just came by and destroyed my plant like that. You know, that kind of reminds me of our story today, actually. You know, last week we learned about Deborah and Barak and how they defeated King Jabin. Israel turned from their sin and they began listening to God. But that doesn't last. Israel again turns back to sin and they turn away from God allows for a new nation to come in and take control of Israel. This time, it's a nation called Midian. The Midianites would come into Israel and they would destroy all the crops that Israel had worked so hard to grow. Israel had to start getting creative and hide their crops from the Midianites so that way they had food to eat. One day, there was a man named Gideon who was working on the wheat harvest when he got a very special visit. While Gideon was working on the wheat harvest, an angel appeared to him. The angel said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Gideon wasn't so sure about all this. He didn't understand how God was with him, with all the bad stuff that was happening, and how in the world God could have chosen him. Gideon was from the weakest family, and he was the youngest in his house. How in the world could God possibly use him? God did plan on using Gideon. He had Gideon start by tearing down an altar to a fake God and then rebuild an altar for God. And so Gideon did just that. Then Gideon blew a ram's horn and began to gather all the warriors of Israel for battle to take care of the Midianites. But Gideon still had some doubts. Gideon told God, I'll do whatever you want, but I need a sign for Gideon put out a fleece of wool and he told God that if he woke up in the morning and the fleece was wet with dew, but the ground around it was dry, he would do what God asked. So Gideon goes to sleep, then he wakes up, and can you guess what he saw? He saw a wet fleece and a dry ground. God gave him the sign that he asked for. But Gideon still was having some doubt. Gideon comes to God again and says, God, if you keep the fleece dry tonight and let the ground be wet with dew, then I'm going to trust you. So Gideon, again, goes to sleep. And when he wakes up, he saw a dry fleece and a wet ground. God again showed him the sign that he asked for. And finally, Gideon was like, okay, God, I get it. You really are with me and I will trust you. Gideon needed a lot of signs to fully trust that God was going to do what he said he was going to do. Sometimes we're like that. I know I am. We need God to give us extra clear signs that he is with us before we actually begin to trust him. Even then, after we see that God is clearly with us, sometimes we're still slow to trust God. But what this story is trying to show us is that when God says he's with us, he means it. We can trust God. It's okay to have questions or to not be sure sometimes. God is gracious and kind, thankfully. When these questions and doubts come, though, I want you to think back on the story of Gideon and how God time and time again showed Gideon that he was with him. God is with you, too. He has promised never to leave you or forsake you. And God plans on keeping his promises. I've enjoyed exploring this lesson with you, and I can't wait to keep exploring the book of Judges next week. Now, let's jump into our memory verse. It's memory verse time! Who remembers where to find our memory verse for the month of April? Our verse is in the book of Psalm. Psalm, if you remember, it's right in the middle of your Bible. We're looking for Psalm 23, verse 1. So find the big number 23, and then the little one should be right there next to it. 
Take a minute and find Psalm 23 verse one. Let's practice our verse together. The Lord is my shepherd, I have what I need. Psalms 23 one. This is a pretty easy verse, one of the easiest verses I think we've done since doing this video, but it is still a really, really great verse. So now let's learn some motions to go along with our verse. And these are not going to be very hard or very many motions. So I bet you're going to pick this up real quick. The Lord is my shepherd. I have what I need. You got that? Let's do it one more time together. The Lord is my shepherd. I have what I need. Psalm 23. Great job. You guys practice your verse this week. And now let's jump into craft time. It's craft time. We're going to be doing some tape you're gonna need a piece of paper, preferably some heavy duty construction paper type. And you'll need some tape, like masking tape, something that can easily come off. And then some markers. Take a minute and gather your supplies. This craft can be done however you want. The idea is for you to place your tape, go on whichever way on the paper that you like. Now, try to connect your tape to make a path going across your page. And you can have other paths jutting off of the main path, but you want to have some singular path going throughout your page. You're going to then take your markers and color in the white space, and it's going to look something kind of like this. So you see my tape, that's my main path, and I have this other path jutting off to the side, and you can have all sorts of different paths. The more you have, the more fun it's going to, going to look, because then you're going to take your tape off. And so once you start taking your tape off, and this is why you want to use something like masking tape or something like that just so that it easily comes off but you see I cut it on the tape but when I start taping taking the tape off my path is left there without the little colors and so you'll take all your tape off and you'll have your path going throughout your sea of color that you painted on here in making this craft we want to think through how we can trust God we will learn that from our lesson we may not know the path that God's leading us on. Gideon didn't know what God had in store for him or for the rest of Israel. But we can always trust God to be there for us and to guide us if we lean on him. So maybe you can write your memory verse on your path or you write the Judges 6 and Gideon and the fleece uh, on your path. So you always think of Gideon when you're making this craft, when you see this craft, you remember that God is gonna guide us on the path that he knows is best for us. Hope you all enjoy making your craft, and I can't wait to keep exploring the Bible with you all next week. See you then, bye.